So it's time to open another Make It Mini Food. Uh, this is the serious one, Cafe, Cafe Syria. Um, and I'm gonna find here this little tear tap here to open this one up. And we're going to do what, oh, this is never really working out for me, these tear taps. Let me try it. Ooh. Almost. Okay, I think we can get it off anyway. Um, that's noisy. Um, we're going to do like we always do. I open up this one, make what's in it, and then we will make it in 1 to 12. Yes, you see, this never works for me, ever. Um, I don't know if there is a trick to it or something, but it's not working out for me. And they kind of glued it together. And this one has three, three layers. So we're just gonna rip that off as well. There we go. Let's open it and see what we got. Out, out, out. Everything out. So we have a keep it cool, so I'm afraid this is a drink. I rather want something more interesting. Um, let's see here. I would like something like this one. That could be awesome. All the donuts. There's so many things here. So all these food things here, even the breakfast, I would like that. But the chance here to get some of that is less than the drinks because there's more drinks than there is food. And we have made this one already. So let's open something here and see what we get. Um, see if I can tear it. Oh, pineapples. Nice. So it's definitely a drink. I'm pretty sure it is. I think this is a resin. Yes, it is. Whoops. And this one is juice. I think a pineapple juice. Ooh. I like pineapples. And I really like pineapples on my pizza. I know a lot of people with... Uh, Scream at the camera right now and say, no, no, pineapples on the pizza, but I really like that. Oh, let's get this up. There we go. And that's a little cup. That's actually a pretty cup. And here we have whipped cream. Um, let's open this one up as well. Does this have a tear tap? Yep. And that worked. Let's take a look. That's a big doy of whipped cream. And then I think this must be a straw. <laughs> it's right here. If I can get it out. A blue straw. At least it is something else than we got last time. And of course we have the um, tweezers. And yes, I'm using my teeth to open this one. And a little piece for the tweezers. And this one that goes here on top of this one. So we could use that to place in our um, done thing. I'm not going to use that one. So let me find that one here. Um, that one. Let me take this one out. Just because I can. And I'm just ripping this. I am going to save um, this little guy here. Because um, if I'm not getting... The other ones or the other balls then I might go and do some of these as well um, but I like doing it like this so it wants us to put the drink piece in there with the straw and then a little on top for the whipped cream okay I need my 
light for this. So I find found my UV light right here. I have this little nice one now. Um, let's try and heat this up a tiny bit. Because it's easier if it's a little more hot. And these pieces here, they always kind of stick too good to the bottle, so they're not working at all. So I'm just gonna go in here with my exacto knife, cutting open this little bottle and making sure that I do not touch the UV resin, because that is toxic. Um, and you don't want your kids to play and you don't want your kids to play with this because it really is toxic so don't touch anything of the resin here let me fill out this little glass see if I can do it get anything out here there we go I've seen a lot of people having way too little resin in these bottles and I might think we could have the same problem right here. Because the cup here is actually quite big. I don't think we have much more in here. I will go heat this up in a second um, and make sure that we get everything out there. But if that's all there is in this little bottle, then I am going to be sad. I will be right back. Okay, let's see if this worked. I did heat it up a bit. Yes, much better. But I'm not sure there's enough to fill the cup all the way to the brim. So I'm gonna pop the lid on here and place that to the side and see if we will have enough left for later. Let's open up this little box of the pineapples here. And I have, what, two slices in here? So I could take this one and cut it into pieces. Let me see if I have my cutting board right here. So I'm just gonna cut this one up in smaller pieces. Like that that to the side and then pop them in there. I'm not sure if you can see them when this is all hardened but for now that's what we're going to do. Having them in there and I had some splashes here that I don't want on my cup, taking the little straw and um, getting that out of the box or the packaging here. Right. Popping that in and I'm placing it to the side so that this big white cream dollop will go in there and now I am going to place it under my UV light and it is kind of too tall but Let's just keep it like this for a few minutes. And here we have the drink. 
um, all hardened, I think. And now we have this little pineapple slice that goes over the edge of the glass. I really like that and the little cute box for it. I might save that for something else. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see if I have enough in here for the wipe cream. Oh, I got a little more in there. That's nice. I really would have loved to be able to make it as high as it is on this picture here. But I don't think there's resin enough for that taller drink. I think that's all there's in there. Let me just place it to the side a tiny bit longer and see what happens. And really make sure you don't get this on your fingers. You can uh, get a very severe re reaction, allergic reaction to this one. Because it is a toxic. Um, so the problem with this one is that if you put that pineapple in there, there is no room for the whipped cream. Whoops. And um, I think that is looking weird if it's, you see, it's it's on there as if it's have room for both parts here, but there really isn't room for both things. So I need to place it some like that maybe. And then it's kind of not all the way down. I really don't like that. But um, be mindful of that if you want to have your um, whipped cream in there. There is not much room for the pineapple. Let me harden this. And um, I think we have the res result of this one. Oh, and if you use the tool as I did, make sure you harden that also so that it is safe to touch again or throw that out. Uh, but please actually do harden it before you throw it out. And the rest of the resin, because um, there might be a few drops in here, um, if you don't plan on trying to get that all out of there, then please um, make sure that it is destroyed discharged the right way so that it is not going into our nature because that is a toxic um, product. So here is my done result. It's not looking as good as on the picture um, but I actually think it looks good and you can see the pineapple slices that we made. Um, I like that and I think this is stuck on there. It is and I don't like the length of my straw so I am going to take my scissor, scissors and cutting the straw into the length that I like it to be. I should really have done that before so I could have put prop... <laughs> I should have done that before I did this so I could have put the not so nice end into the drink but I think this turned out really neat so now it is time to make this in 1 to 12 so first we need a mold to make the cup and for that I am making the cup of my polymer clay so I'm rolling the snake snake I'm rolling the snake into a kind of a teardrop shape and then I'm cutting it off in the lengths so that I have the cup here in the right length and in the right diameter that I want to use. I placed a toothpick in the top of the cup so that I have something I can hold it with and it is going to be for a mold so um, it's all fine. I rolled out a piece of clay in a thin setting on my pasta machine and made a strip of that to make the rim around the glass or the cup and I uh, place that until this little um, mold that we are going to make here. I 
I've seen a lot of people use their clay creation as a mold, so I was trying that here. I rolled out the translucent clay in the thinnest setting on my pasta machine. Then I dipped my um, cup here in the baby powder, as I've seen people do. And now I'm going to wrap the cup and make it look nice and bake it. I'm not going to show you the whole process here because this turned out wrong and I had to do it all over. So I'm going to end it right here. I baked the cup just like I would normally do and now I was supposed to just being able to slide it off my mold. Um, but it was stuck on there. It was really, really stuck on there. And you can actually see how it is uh, more translucent at the top and red at the bottom. Because it was stuck like in stock. So I had to uh, jam it off there. And I broke it into a lot of small pieces. So this was not working for me. If it's working for you, perfect. But it's not working for me. So I used my thermoplast that you are heating up in boiling water and then you can mold it and make a mold of it. And I'm using that for making a mold of my cup here. Um, and I'm going to leave that to uh, cool down before I can use it. When it is all cooled down, I am taking out the little piece that we made for the cup and I'm using some of my silly gum uh, mold putty here to fill up the cup and to make sure that I can get that out when it's all hardened again I am using a toothpick again to pop that into the cup so I'm just gonna mix this together and fill up my cup I left this in the mold for around an hour or a little longer just to make sure it was all hardened before I took it out of the mold. It was actually pretty hard to get the mold out of the mold so I had to cut the, um, um, the thermoplast mold to get the mold out. The mold is not 100% as I really wanted it but it is work able so I'm going to use it. I rolled out a piece of translucent clay on my thinnest setting on the pasta machine and I am going to cut a strip that can go around the mold that we just made and I am just placing that up to this uh, ribbon thing on the top of the mold making sure um, I'm going to cut the length first trying to make it straight and then I am rolling it around this bottom part of the cup here and I am not going to overlay in the connection, so I'm making sure it is going flush. And then I am softening that connection out so it looks really nice. I have these electrical things that you use for electricity somehow, I don't know how, but they are perfect for some hole punches, for circles, also circle puncher. And I had one that fit perfect for the bottom of the glass here, so I punched out a circle of the clay and placed that on the bottom part, and now I'm softening and smoothing out the connection so it looks really nice. Then I am cutting yet another strip here for the top of my glass, so I'm making it a little wider. And I am wrapping that around the top here, making sure that it is overlaying the first part just with a millimeter or two. Then I'm wrapping it nicely around the cup here. And I am again making sure it is not overlaying where it is connected. Um, I am making sure that it has a nice connection, a nice bond with the first part of the cup. So everything is one piece. And again, I am making sure that this connection here is kind of not visible. Uh, I am uh, cutting off a tiny bit of the clay here with a scissor so that it is the same way 
all the way around. Keep working with it until you are happy and satisfied with the look of the little cup. I do have a video on pineapple or slices, but here I am showing you one way to do it. So I have this again, these small cutters here for some wiring work. I don't know what they're called, um, but they're really, really good as puncher. So I'm punching out a few of the big size here for the pineapple slice. It has the circumference that I like for a pineapple in 1 to 12. Then I'm using the smaller one here and trying to get the exact middle point of that uh, slice out of there. Um, and I had to do it a few times to get one that I really liked. The one slice that worked for me was the one where I cut the inner circle with a smaller circle cutter. So I'm just showing you there how small this one was. That looks more right to me than the other one. Oh, and this color is made from mixing a lot of translucent clay with a tiny, tiny bit of yellow and an even tinier small bit of orange, giving it that glowy yellow color for the orange. Now I am just using a needle tool to make some lines and indents and stuff like that on this uh, pineapple slice so that it looks real on this one side before I bake it. Let's do the straw as well. I'm again using some translucent clay, a tiny bit of that, and an even smaller piece of this uh, sky blue, I think that was. And I'm mixing that together uh, and rolling it out on my pasta machine on the smallest setting. I have this one millimeter knitting needle right here and I know this one can go into the oven. Make sure that your tools can go into the oven when using them uh, with clay so that you can reuse them and make sure that everything works when you're using them. I'm rolling this uh, thin clay around this knitting needle, cutting it off so that nothing's overlaying. Um, and it's a bit tricky when it's this small. Um, and then I am just rolling it and making sure everything is nice and neat and tight around the knitting needle. Uh, and you can even roll it a bit thinner than it is in uh, the clay from the uh, pasta machine. That's a pasta machine. So I'm just rolling it until I'm happy with my straw and I'm baking it on my knitting needle. Let's make the whipped cream as well. I have a few molds of whipped creams that I made for a long time ago and I'm just saving those. So I'm trying to find one that match the whipped cream on the drink the best. And here I have two molds and I'm not sure which one is best. So I am using them both here and just filling them up with clay. And now that I think of it, it this is a pineapple drink. Why is there whipped cream on top of a pineapple juice? Uh, that kind of makes no sense to me, but okay, let's go with it. I am using a opaque white clay for this part. I'm filling both of my molds and making sure that they are straight at the bottom, just cutting off excess clay here. And then when I filled both of these molds, I am carefully pushing the whipped cream top out of the mold. And then I take a look at what they look like and compare it with the drinks. And I decided that this last one had the most um, right shape for the drink. When the clay is cool from the baking, I am sliding the straws of my knitting needle. That can be a bit difficult, but it's possible. Then I'm mixing my mold putty one to one. So this is the silicone mold putty. And I am taking my little pineapple slice and uh, covering that in the mold putty, making first a little ball that I'm squeezing into the 
um, middle hole here of the pineapple so that I'm sure that that is full and then I'm just layering up on top of the pineapple and I'm going to leave that for half an hour to an hour to dry and then this mold is ready for use. When the mold is hardened, I am using the rest of the pineapple colored clay that we made in the start and just shoving it into the mold, making sure it's going into all the little details on everything in there. Um, and then I am using my knife here and just flattening off the surface just carefully because you can actually cut the mold as well and I don't want to do that. So I'm just carefully cutting off the excess clay. Then I am going in with my tool, my needle tool again, and I'm making the same detail on top of this pineapple slice that I have on the bottom part of the uh, pineapple slice. And then I just carefully pop it out of the mold and I can make a few of these before I bake everything together. So everything is ready to be put together. My little cup cracked a tiny bit, but it won't show when it's all done. So I'm just carefully removing the mold of the cup. It was a bit difficult, but it eventually got there. First, I am going to cut the straw into the length I want it to be. So I'm just measuring in the cup and then just cutting it off. Actually, I did cut mine a bit too long, but it worked out in the end. Now I am taking one of my pineapple slices, actually I think I take two, and I am cutting that into small pieces just like we did for the first drink or the original drink. Yes, I did make two of the slices into small pieces. I skipped that so you don't have to sit here and watch that. Anyway, I take the third piece of pineapple and I cut a thin slice here in the um, meat of the pineapple so that it can go over the brim of the glass just like the real deal. I am going to use some Fimo liquid here with some soft pastel scraving or what you call that. Yeah, I don't know what to call that. So I'm using the dark orange, the lighter orange and then the yellow, um, mostly the yellow because I want to give it this glow of the orange but not too much orangey. So I'm mixing that together and popping these small pieces of pineapple in there into this mixture and just making sure that everything is mixed really well. Then when I am happy with the mixture I am uh, letting it drip into the cup so that it doesn't touch anywhere where I don't want it to be. So I'm just taking my time with this. Don't forget to put the straw in there because that also takes up a tiny bit of the space. There we go. I think this is almost there. I just want a tiny bit of the juice only. And pop that on top of there. Placing my little... Uh, whipped cream and the pineapple slice. There we go. And now it is going into the oven again. When the little cup has cooled down, I'm placing it on some double sided tape here on this little wooden stick and I am giving it a tiny bit of Fimo glaze so that it is shiny and looking like a glass cup. That is all there is for this little craft. I actually had a lot of fun with this one, so I hope you will have that as well. I will leave a link in the info box to my old pineapple, and if I can find a white cream tutorial, I will leave that below, or I might have to make one for you. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and happy crafting.